You, you could have uh, fried chicken, drumsticks, all kinds of pastries, coffee. Uh, contrast that, however, with the, see the bar over there? You have to pay if you want to drink. It's a wedding. It's a wedding bar and you have to pay if you want to drink. Mm. Okay. Hi, Aunt Mary. Just, um, we had a really nice time today. I'm sorry you can't be with us, um, but I hope you're, you're really well and just much love with Gordon and I. And we'll see each other. See you next year. We're going to come across, we're going to stay at the cottage, and we'll see you next You take care. Yeah, this is on the uh, ferry sea cap, and we're leaving the harbor from Strand Road. <laughs> Going to Belfast, Ireland. There's not really a whole lot to see, but a sense of the shoreline. And there's a little shot of the, the boat. It's a quite large boat, it's a catamaran. And it uh, hopefully gets a high speed. This is Castle Carrick Fergus. It's north of uh, Belfast. A little bit. Um, contrary to popular uh, opinion, that this is not a member of the Lapukaracha uh, chain, uh, although it certainly would qualify in many ways. Uh, we'll see more of it later. This is the uh, entrance to Castle Carrick Fergus. Walked into the castle keep here. Found some too much. Good day, sir. Comes a yellow canary. The gentlemen uh, ready to fire their cannons off the wall. This is one of the towers of Castle Carrick Fergus. You can see the archer that somebody has cleverly placed on the top wall defending this part of the castle. Beyond is the uh, harbor of Belfast, another tower. To the right is a long wall. Uh, below that is the castle. Okay. This is the uh, Castle Keep. Underneath your chain mail. Ready to as a teacher. Nice as Demonstrating the chain mail. <laughs> Strange Mexican twin. This is a uh, small hotel, the 
Londonderry Arms in Carnlock. It's a, a seaside village. Uh, we ate lunch here today and it was very good. It was very good. Um, unfortunately, uh, they were very, they, the staff had been very disappointed just as we came because they had made application to become part of the La Cucaracha chain and they were turned down. Their standards were too high. This is the Abbey at Bonimaghi, built in the late 15th century. Um, not really very much left, but is on the way to Ballycastle. This is the village of Ballycastle, and the view along the coast and out to sea is fairly typical of what we saw here on the northeast coast. Um, there's a church quite a ways in the background, it's quite a high spire. And what you see just there after the picture there is the wall of the uh, friary of Bonimaldi. This is the uh, north wall of the friary. And as you can see in the distance, there are people doing penance. Apparently, uh, I'm told to hit balls with sticks and drive them into little holes. And it must be very difficult for most of them because I see them throwing the sticks in the air and cursing. It doesn't seem like a very Christian activity, but you can see that these uh, monks live probably pretty well with all these people doing penance out here. Because the uh, look in the valley from the really the entrance to the church part, you can see the uh, apse straight ahead and sort of long narrow church. On the side, that you can see tombstones that have been built into the walls. These are more modern than the fire itself, for the most part. And there are people of the town who, for one reason or another, have been able to be buried here. Uh, looks like it would have been a very pretty little church. Leaving the chancel of the church to uh, go through the entrance where the friars would have come and gone. As you can see, it's a very low doorway, indicating the people must have been fairly small. Um, you can see into the chamber, and then there's another doorway to the left, which is blocked off into the sacristy, which is the place where they would store the vestments and oils, other uh, articles of religious ceremony. This is the stairway leading from the same passageway up. Fairly steep. And this is leading to a chamber above the sacristy, where once you're up here you can see the remains of a fairly large building. And this is basically where the Friars spent most of their time. Now you can see the island of Rathlin was once occupied at least for one night by a deposed king who uh, had a vision from God that told him to continue in his fight. And a very big island. But it's out there a little ways. This is the uh, site of the rope bridge. Can't really see it from here, but as we get closer, see it's a rope bridge across a 60 foot uh, space under sort of a little island, although it's almost part of this peninsula. We're right outside Valley Castle. This is called Carrick Red, Carrick in Stone in Gaelic. This is a view of the coastline here at Bella Castle. Uh, to my left, swinging to my left, to see. And then you can see 
the entrance to the 60 foot rope bridge with a yellow canary waiting to cross. This is the uh, boat bridge that you have to take to get where I'm standing. Kind of now you can see a yellow canary frightened one just crossed there. Walk down to the Giant's Causeway where Finn McCool uh, escaped his enemies by walking across the ocean to Scotland. Threw these big stones out for stepping stones. Ahead of me is a yellow canary going to see the sights. Well, this is it. This is the Giant's Causeway. Can't quite figure out why this is different than any other part of the coast. Maybe we're not far enough down the road yet. But this is the Giant's Causeway. We have maybe another quarter of a mile to go down this path. Box. Believe it or not, are not man-made. These are the Giant's stepping stones. This is what he walked on when he left the country. You can see the people walk around. Very neat, uh, rectangular shaped rocks. It's another view of the Giant's Causeway. These rocks are almost straight up and down have very unusual shapes. Um, somewhat like the ones immediately to my left here. You see, it looks like look like a wall that a stonemason built. These are actual rocks. Uh, quite a high building, one story or so. Uh, this is the. Uh, Part of the gardens at Ballina Hinch uh, Castle. Uh, this is the castle itself. Beautiful place, built in 1851, uh, owned by uh, Lord Martin. Capricious uh, man. Uh, unfortunately, um, he is not a member of the Kukaracha, so we can honestly say it is a nice hotel. This is the uh, Azalea Garden, probably not as nice as it was about a week ago, but a uh, little lovely. There's the terrace, a little rough on the walk here. Uh, but it's worth it when you get to the end of it. You're going to see is something that uh, is typical spots in Ireland. Actually, you can wander this way now a little bit. This is part of the river ban. Uh, you can go trout fishing and salmon fishing here. Uh, you can take, it's a six day uh, trip that uh, where they take you up and down this river for salmon and trout fishing. Uh, it's gorgeous. You can see the pools where the trout are. You have a guide who teaches you how to cast the flies or cook the fish, or even smoke the salmon. Here's another view of uh, Belling and Hinch Castle. Uh, we just missed seeing a rare version, rare subbreed of the yellow canary going by. It's the Greater Martinized Canary. There's one of the Greater Martinized Canaries. 
think he's devouring the car. Or it's devouring him, I'm not sure which. Yeah, it's definitely a Martinez canary. I can tell by the shiny spot on the top of his head. It's a, some sort of mating ritual that he does with his, his key. There he is. Going into the nest. He has to be remodernized every evening. This is a uh, man made waterfall um, on the farm of Daniel O'Connell. Um, but it's the highest waterfall in Ireland, uh, measuring, I think, two and a half to three feet. Uh, here is the, uh, the only tea room in Ireland. Uh, and it's the open air on the side of the bus and stuff. Um, it's a replica of an ancient Roman. Uh, there's uh, Barb and Mary and Brian in a uh, some sort of ruined Episcopal tomb. And let's see, uh, the donkey. We're here at uh, O'Hara's. See, I think. Do you know that they can tell now from the tombs that people that lived in the caves and stuff like that did have terrible lung diseases from it? Oh yeah. But it's warm in here. Mm -hmm. It does yeah. keep you warm. But that would be the only source of light. Because mm -hmm. they didn't have candles. Only wealthy people had candles. Well, in the olden days, they didn't have candles, period. Was the, the inside door. of a dolmen. No, dolmen's a tomb. You can see the uh, hut here of the ancient gales. Celts, one of them. And the, the owners were just walking around the backside. They were uh, uh, wonderful weavers of v-neck sweaters and uh, they basically ate salmon and drank gin. That's all we know about them. Uh, they named the children after their favorite gins. Beef Eater, Ho Victoria. Take it out the top. Drive by them. Canaries, I presume. Canaries. Oops. The car. No, I like to take these pictures because they're like um, authentic uh, news. See, these guys pictures. got a problem. Oh, that's right. Well, they know where we are. We have to walk the rest of the way. I don't know if I want. To. Now we're coming up to uh, Tom O'Hara's farm. Ancient Gaelic curse is written on the top of this uh, pig pen, which is what's through the pig. The curse is Nalabadaka Satal. Very useful uh, curse. Oink, oink. Now you see the stone wall and the fireplace. Two yellow canaries. With a yellow canary pen behind there. Hills are pretty from here. This is a tough farm to work with all the rocks. This is a farm. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. This is the farmhouse. Of Tom O'Hara. Uh, Tom's not in right now. Once again, uh, over the doorway, the ancient Gaelic curse, the Lava Daka Satao, which the locals have uh, tell me it means death to Northville. There's the faithful doggy. Hi, doggy doggy. He's coming over to bite me. Basically, that was it. 
and you had tribes coming into the area and going out. So I reckon what you had was there's very it's very significant that there's a lot of uh, quartz, large rocks of quartz. Oh, yeah. They were meant to have actually marked out the territory. And if people were seen coming into this territory, uh, the look was out you could see. Huh? Now that's a real dolmen down there. It's a collapse. It's too dark. This is the in this is the interior of Tom O'Hara's farm. Here's the hearth. Here's the uh, grandmother's bed. It was called. The picture of his daughter. A wall. This was uh, apparently quite a fantastic thing to have a house a dresser. And it was the only house in the valley the young Mount Fernandolis uh, had a dresser. Uh, Are you open seven days a week? It's now part of the local Karacha chain. We have here an authentic uh, Irish cross. You can see the authentic Irish words. Aina Kleina Nacht was in that. It's the Bay of Clifton. And you're looking straight out to the Atlantic. And if these people will just stop talking as I go. There we go. There we go. Got it? didn't do it. Oh. You turned it off again? No, it's on because it's shut. Still been on. Practicing zooming. Huh? It's a yellow canary with a bald head. The famous uh, martinized. Okay. Nope. Okay. Want me to do another one? Nope. Err. Uh. Okay, uh, you're looking east. Um, there are little inlets and islands all down through here to the left. If I can walk over here, you can. Well, you can't really see it as well. I can. Uh, there's another little long narrow inlet into the town of Clifton. Beautiful. Plus, it's the first sunshine. This is the precipitous part. Maybe the, oh, that's going to be getting precipitous, Mary. Oh. Well, fine there's Irish there's road. Up, there's, there's space up here. It's a fine Irish road. As you can see, there's lots of room to pass. In the back seat, Barbara Thurber is going, oh, whimper, whimper, whimper. She made snivel, it. snivel, yeah, I'll snivel. I'll never forget my trip to Ireland because Barb made it memorable. Yeah. This is a uh, continuing view of the uh, Clifton Bay area. Um, <laughs> this is the town square of uh, Clifton. Two uh, little shops. Uh, Harbor Springs, Petoskey. Uh, there's the restaurant and bar. Probably will be going there later on today. Uh, Mr. E.J. King. Um, pretty place. See, there's a large cathedral at the top of the hill and many tourist places. Now, adios, amigo. This is uh, Clifton Bay.
pretty high wind. in front of the aerial home. All right. Alright. Well, I've just announced that I made another horrible mistake and I'm gonna have to park next to this red van because uh, otherwise I'm gonna get a ticket. She took such great pleasure in announcing to continue with my talk. Uh, this is one of the uh, higher grade La Cucaracha chain hotels. Um, it would not have even made the chain because it's supposed to be pretty nice except for the slum junk cars parked out in front. This is the River Liffey. And what you see is the uh, North Bank. Bob, say something to the camera. This is about the end of the film, and we've still been followed by these two canaries. Turn around. I'm getting your backs. Turn around. Wave to the camera. We're in the middle of St. Stephen's Green Park. It's owned by the Archbishop of Dublin. If it wasn't for the Catholics, there'd be no parks in this country at all. Protestants like to burn them down. in Bewley's in Dublin. I've got about two minutes to go on this film. Bob's is finally smiling after a week and a half. I was thinking about the wonder, some of the wonderful driving techniques I showed her while we were here in Dublin. This is uh, the canal that runs through Dublin. It used to run to Cork. It was a fisherman's boat, or actually a resident's boat. If you can hear me above the traffic. Here it is. Four o'clock, four thirty in the morning. We're at the ferry dock. Ready to go to England. A happy pilgrim. We're heading home. This film is about to run out. This may be my last film because we have one more trip to Gatwick Airport. And with us, we have the expert travel commentator, Barbara Thurber. You're too close. You're going to kill us. I'm never going to do this again. Never, ever. Please, please, please. This, team, this film is still not run out. Tell mom to open the door to wave to the camera.
Wave to the camera. Perhaps you have to put your head out. I can't see you. Wave your camera. Tell tell everyone how happy you are. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's film. Let the film run out. Uh, this is going to be on the tape. I think this is great. We'll have a little flavor of our vacation. Well, I know. Just save it for Gatwick. Let's go. Okay, zero minutes. All right, it's done.